Chapter 11, Customizing Your Vocabulary. In this lesson, we will review various ways to customize your vocabulary. We're going to start by using the Vocabulary Editor. The Vocabulary Editor lets you view what it can transcribe from the computer's active memory. It also allows you to add new entries and edit existing entries, including their spoken form and properties. There are several ways to get to the Vocabulary Editor. One, I can turn on my microphone and say edit vocabulary, which is probably the fastest way. Or on the dragon bar, I can go to words, view edit. Or I can do it through the accuracy center, which is how we'll do it. We're going to go to tools, accuracy center. Now the accuracy center is a part of Dragon that has several tools to help you improve how Dragon understands you. So we are going to start on the right-hand side under the column that says Improve Your Vocabulary. Now to get to the Vocabulary Editor from here, we need to go to View or Edit Your Vocabulary. The Vocabulary Editor opens. Essentially, the Vocabulary Editor is a list of all of the words in your active vocabulary. Right? So take a moment to scroll through the list. You're going to see names of people, places, institutions, products, as well as common words, phrases, and abbreviations. The vocabulary editor essentially is broken into two forms, two columns here. We've got a written form and we've got a spoken form. Now, with Dragon, you can add a spoken form to any written form. So that's what you're seeing here. It doesn't necessarily have to have a spoken form. You only want to add a spoken form if the term is different from what you're adding. This is an example where in your document, A will appear, but you can say letter A and have it appear here. We're going to add some custom entries to show you how that that's done. In the written form is what is going to appear in your document. For our example, we're going to put United States of America. Okay, it's very important that when you're adding a custom entry, you should be sure to spell and capitalize it correctly. Otherwise, it will appear misspelled in your document every time you dictate it. So just be pay close attention to what you're adding. So in the written form column, I've added United States of America. In the spoken form, I want to say USA. So essentially, by adding that term, it's given me the ability to dictate the acronym USA, but in my documents have United States of America appear. Now you notice that a red star is next to the word. Well, there are three different stars, and what do the stars mean? Well, a red star indicates that this is a custom word that has been added. Okay, if you see a blue star, a blue star indicates that the properties of the word have been changed from the default settings. A green star indicates that a word was moved to the active vocabulary due to a correction. We'll go through all of those examples. For now, let's go ahead and uh, add another word. So, it can be, again, anything that you want to. It doesn't have to be a single word. It can be a common phrase or a name of a location or anything like that. Our next example, we're going to do identification. Okay? The written form is going to be identification. The spoken form, I want to say ID. So, again, I add it to my vocabulary. Again, of course, we see the red star indicating that it is a custom entry. You have additional features on the right here. So if we look, going down, close, obviously will close the vocabulary altogether. Add, of course, is adding a term. Delete does exactly what it says, delete. Train. Train will allow you to train your custom entry. So let's select train. 